This was the scene 25 years ago when the Buffalo Bills last won a playoff game. It's they didn't know it at the time, but it was the end of a golden era in Buffalo. A quarter of a century ago, the Colts were a very different team. The first pick of the draft. Then they found a quarterback. Success and their own the history. Colts went Super Bowl 41. Meanwhile, the Bills spent the last couple decades looking up as others made their legacies. The most important moment of the era may have happened in 1996 when this kid was born. On this Saturday in January, the Colts and Bills will meet in Buffalo to kick off the NFL playoffs. Let's go get it, let's go get it, let's go get it. 25 years ago, this city was a symbol of toughness and success thanks to its football team. So the Bills win. Now, the Bills are back. Allen is in, touchdown. Across the field, though, there's a team with a lot of their own history looking to start a new chapter. Touchdown, I-N-D-Y! A lot can happen in 25 years, but all that history is made one game at a time. Are you kidding me? On days like this. Welcome, Welcome to Orchard Park, New York. It's the NFL playoffs and the start of Super Wild Card Weekend. The seventh seed in the AFC, the Indianapolis Colts, taking on the two seed, the Buffalo Bills. It's been a breakthrough season for the Bills. They're hosting a playoff game for the first time in 24 years. Expanded postseason format this year. Only one team in each conference gets a bye. The number one seed in the AFC, Kansas City, waiting to see who their opponent will be next week. And inside the broadcast booth, hi everybody, I and Eagle along with Charles Davis. Evan Washburn joins us as well. It's a big weekend in the NFL, the first of six wild card games. Charles, no team comes into the postseason hotter than the Buffalo Bills, and they've got a quarterback in Josh Allen who had an MVP caliber season. And we throw that term around so often, but this is legit. Josh Allen, the improvement from his rookie year to here in year three has been absolutely astounding. One of the top five accurate throwing quarterbacks in the NFL right now. One big reason he made that jump, the acquisition of Stephon Diggs in the offseason from Minnesota to give him a true wide receiver one. Leads the league in targets, catches, and yardage. He gives his team energy, he gives them an identity, and they can play the long game. And CD, the last six games of the regular season, this offense has been lethal, averaging over 38 points per game and nearly 430 yards. The opponent today, the Indianapolis Colts. There is no doubt the Colts have embraced the underdog role this week. But this is a team that won 11 games, and they've got a future Hall of Famer in Phillip Rivers starting at the quarterback position. Nothing like being an underdog when you have a quarterback who's truly an overdog, and that's Phillip Rivers. And when you talk with defensive coordinators around the league, they all call him the general. The way that he orchestrates at the line of scrimmage, gets his team into the right plays. But every general, they need that executive officer to carry out those orders, and he has one now in the rookie running back from Wisconsin, Jonathan Taylor, who has really jumped his game up over the last month and a half. Now he can control a game with his legs, put a team on his back. This guy is for real. Coming up, we will get it all started in Western New York. First playoff game between the Colts and Bills. The winner advances to the divisional round. It's the NFL playoffs on CBS. Well, CBS Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Home of Super Bowl 55. History is made one game at a time on days like this. Welcome to Super Wild Card Weekend. Well, another wild card this weekend is the weather here in Buffalo. It's 33 degrees. It is beautiful today on one Bills drive at Bills Stadium. Before we kick it off, we 
you send it downstairs to Evan Washburn. Yeah, and I would say it's comfortable down here, and it's rocking, man. It's good to have fans back here all in a limited capacity here at Bill Stadium for the first time this season. And they're happy to see Cole Beasley back, who's been out since suffering a knee injury in Week 16 against the New England Patriots. He was a true game-time decision, guys, with that knee injury. Has a brace on the left. He looked good in warm-ups. He's a huge part of this offense in the slot and on third down, so a big boost. Not sure how much he'll go. We'll monitor it throughout this one, folks. All right, Evan. We are ready for action. The Bills and the Colts. Indianapolis won four of its last five games to get into the playoffs. The lone loss came against Pittsburgh. We know Frank Reich is a hero in these parts for his role in the greatest comeback in playoff history as a member of the Bills. And he'll be a hero forever, but he won't be a hero to death. No. After these Bills fans coming in, they want to find a way to beat their former quarterback. And Sean McDermott, what a turnaround this franchise has had in his four years as the head coach of the Bills. Buffalo won the toss. They have deferred to the second half. Six playoff games this weekend. And it all starts in Orchard Park. Isaiah Rogers is the deep man. Tyler Bass will kick it off. And away we go, the NFL playoffs. Touchback, Indianapolis and Phillip Rivers, 39 years old in his 17th year in the NFL, has had a lot of success in the wild card round. His teams have never lost. But Rivers is doing it for the first time in the postseason as a member of the Colts.